There's only one task on this workbench, to save life. Their focus here has switched from vacuum cleaners and garden tools to ventilators that can help people breathe. One week after the government made a public appeal for help, GTEC in Worcestershire have their prototype almost ready. This is day two of 24-hour testing. We think we've solved all the difficult bits. We're just making the last bits of a pneumatic timer now, which will hopefully be ready in a few hours. If that works, we can take all the electronics off it and it will just run on an oxygen supply, so it's very simple. I'm confident we can build them in reasonably short time and How many? quite high volume. I, I'd estimated a thousand a day. The lesson from Italy is that if you run out of ventilators, clinicians have to make incredibly hard decisions. It is a war on coronavirus. We're not able to touch it. We are able to kill it eventually. And in the, in the old type of spirit of the war, we have to rally around and we all have to help each other and we have to help our loved ones and that's what we're trying to do. History shows us that moments of crisis can bring out the very best of British ingenuity. And this workshop, like many others around the UK, are on this challenge full time at the moment and they are confident that the need within the NHS can be met. The prototype here hasn't missed a beat yet. It has its temperature taken regularly and if it is approved, full production could be just days away. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, Worcestershire.